Henry, no! <laughs> Henry! Oh, you murdering fools, Henry! You, Mr. Sheep, you, Mr. Pig, and you, Chicken O'Feather, have been found guilty of murder in the first degree of Mr. Ol' Henry the Zombie. Your penalty shall be death. May J.T. Lewis have mercy on your soul. Yeah! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Beach Block server. How are you all doing? I had an epiphany. An idea to I really got I gotta change my mouse. <laughs> I gotta buy a new mouse. These tops, remember how I wasn't exactly thrilled about how those turned out. Let's try something here. Because really the problem is we've got these pillars, which are, are good, because they define the different sections. But then it's kind of a mess here. Uh, doesn't look the greatest. So let's take these stairs out. Because I wasn't happy with them anyway. And we'll try a couple different things. Now this might be too much. Because now we got too much cobble, possibly. Um, yes, I do have... Let's get those out of there too and stick with the theme of uh the the stone slabs right that's what they're called yeah let's put that back up okay that looks better already okay now <clears throat> let's go uh, i'm still not sure about this What if, hold on now, what if we took these out and fell down? Let's do the stair thing here. How is that going to look? Now, from up here, it might not be great. But once we get down there, perhaps. Okay, let's see what these look like. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, actually, I think it's better. It's better than what it was. The stairs definitely look better than just having all uh, cobblestone fence. Because it goes with this theme here. So that's good. I like having the stone slabs only instead of having the stone brick slabs. I think I like it. It's a little different. Gives a little different uh, sizes of blocks instead of just straight up blocks. Yeah, I mean, look at this stair one. That's not good. Okay, so all we got to do is replace the upside down stairs and replace the slabs, uh, stone brick slabs, with the stone slabs. Okay, I will do that later. But first, part two. <laughs> okay, we got the beacon. That's great. I'm getting resources like a boss. I've added more uh, sheep. So now we have green. We've got our light blue again. I'm making gray, and actually now we've got two gray, so they can breed. I'll probably just keep those guys too. They can breed and make gray. Um, then I got the white. So basically what I do is as I get colors, in fact, I can add red here um, back in. I just move these pins down, so I move the cows, move the white sheep to the end, and then I put my color, my new color. Just an easier way than moving a bunch of sheep or whatever, um, if you do pins that way. 
So what's what's the other thing I've been doing? You see all these blocks on me. I got glass. I got wool. I've been working on the uh, nether hub. So we hooked up the nether hub. Uh, or hooked up to the nether hub. Uh, a couple episodes ago. And now... Well... So I dug out this humongous tunnel. <laughs> And hopefully nobody uh, nobody gets upset that I did that, but I'm kind of going with a little uh, thing here. So I did the cobble like this just mainly to give it a little extra support. I mean, obviously the ceiling's there, so I don't need to do it there. Um, but there is e it's either open here, here, or below us, and so because I could hear gas. But here's what I got going so far from the hub so if you come in from the hub here's how it starts and and the entrance I don't know what I'll do here mainly because I don't know what he's gonna do with this uh, JT I, or somebody I don't know if somebody's got plans on making something out of this or if we're gonna just leave it the nether rack if we leave it the nether rack I'll probably just leave the entrance like this something simple but we come in here so the theme is using wool for one layer and then glass for the second layer. The dirt, uh, as soon as I get cocoa beans, I'm sure there's a jungle somewhere near here. I'll have to ask uh, one of the other guys. Um, then I will make uh, brown wool on the bottom and then the brown glass for the dirt. So the dirt will come out. Or I don't know. I kind of like the dirt, but it doesn't fit the theme, right? So then on the sky, we've got the blue, light blue sky with the light blue glass and then the white clouds. I'll make white glass, and the white glass will be out on top of the bot or on the bottom of each of these. So they'll it'll kind of look 3D-ish, I guess, like they're sticking down. And then the trees... I brought them out one more block. We got the wool in the back, and instead of glass, I did the um, spruce leaves. Spruce leaves will not change color, so they are this color no matter where you place them. That's why I used spruce leaves. Um, if you use oak leaves or acacia or birch, they will change colors. They'll dry out, so they'll be a dull color. And that's another reason I didn't want to use grass. Um, because it does change color. Although the grass is probably about the same color as this glass <laughs> uh, in this area in the in the Nether. So I don't know. I wanted something different. So we got this glass theme with the wool behind it, and I think it looks good. The dirt um, kind of is grown on me, but I I I don't know. Once I get the brown dye, uh, the cocoa beans, then I probably will change this out and put brown wool and um, brown glass. Just to stick with the theme. But this is going to take forever because I don't have a ton of... I mean, it, it takes a ton of materials, so this is going to take a while. Um, but... It'll be fun. It'll be something different, and that's the main thing. So that'll be that would be the finished product. Let me. Uh, okay. Well, technically that would be no, no. On the sides here, we have to make it the blue because we have to be able to hide the uh, the ugly nether wreck. <laughs> okay, we don't need it there, but let's go ahead and fill it in, even though. Nothing can really spawn. Did I waste? No, I didn't waste. I'm also keeping the trees above. I did try it below, but with the glass you can see through, it doesn't look right. So I just went ahead and uh, kept it on top of the glass blocks. And it looks a lot better. And I'm out already. See, that? that I mean, it goes quick. <laughs> this is so much materials. Yeah, one goes there. Okay. And the nice thing about this, too, 
is the transparency is enough to where you can still see the grass, you can still see the clouds, so it's kind of cool. And then we'll take white glass on these exposed ones that are on this side, on this side of the glass of the light blue glass, and it'll it'll give it a white 3D-ish look. Um, but yeah, it looks weird. Truthfully, it does. But I think in the long run, I don't know. These kind of look like crosses now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I was just trying to keep them smaller because, I mean, we don't have a ton of room here. I didn't want to go crazy and dig way in. Um, I guess there's nobody tunneled here. Eternals is clear over there. We'd be okay. Nobody's on this side yet. I mean, that's yet. Somebody could eventually. So I didn't want to get too crazy. But then we got our little bridge across our water, glass, and wool river or creek that we've got here. And uh, probably continue this down, and then we'll put another bridge or whatever. And uh, put a bunch of trees. We'll kind of turn this path around and have some type of landscaping here probably might even do some type of hill thing here maybe um, that'll be interesting but that's it that's gonna be our nether tunnel I'm not using rail because I mean come on <laughs> it's not very far away um, if you can't walk it at least I'm giving you something to look at as you come through here something pretty to look at other than nether, nether rack um, but anyway, that is what I've been working on in the nether. So, we do need to do something else here in the nether. We need to get blaze rods. I don't have a ender chest, which I desperately need. Although I think uh, the thieving issues that... Uh, JT has had on this server has been dealt with, I believe. I haven't heard anybody complaining about losing anything or any griefing or anything like that going on. So whatever the issue was and whoever it was must have been dealt with by mine fear, JT Lewis. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, that's great. So I think what I'll do is I'll prepare to go into the nether and we will try to find some blaze rods. Okay, I don't know where a fortress is or anything like that. Oh, look what I got. Diamond Arbor, baby. I haven't enchanted them yet. Uh, <laughs> I probably should have gone to the Ender Ender and uh, went ahead and did that, but I'm too lazy. I just feel like going after stuff. So let's see here. Ender Ender Farm, Eternals. Mesa biome. Hmm. I. What's this gonna be? Whatever it is, it's blocked off. It's got track around it. Then we got something over here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I've never done anything down here in the... Let's go this way. Maybe there's a tunnel out of here. Um, I, I just don't know. I don't have a clue of how to get out of here. I've uh, never really... Well, I've never had a necessity to do it. Um, but now I kind of want to. <laughs> I want to get some blaze rods... What we really need is a blaze farm. Um, I really, I like using blaze rods for my fuel, for my furnaces. But, if you don't have a blaze farm, it's not, it's a little more difficult to do. Okay, I think this goes, well I know this goes in the Mesa biome. Which I have not been to. See, I'm hearing things, I'm hearing gas. So there's open air somewhere around here. It can't be above us, obviously. And there's the end. What I'm hoping is there's an e exit out of here. 
that we can go through before we actually get to the portal. And no. Okay, I found this stairway down. It at least goes out into open ground. Here we go. Now we're talking. Okay. Now, oh, hello. Wah! Oh, might as well try to get the uh, achievement. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> oh, no, I missed that one too. Come on. Oh, man. There's no really good way down, though. So in the vastness of the explosions, I found a stairway down. <laughs> uh, maybe? I do have enderpearls, but I've only got a, you know, I got 12, I guess. So that could help us. Probably should have asked if there was a... Perhaps they have a blaze farm set up. I don't know. I have never asked anything about the nether. I think that was just a quartz. A quartz hole. Alright, let's go down here. There's a... See, there's random pillars everywhere, but I'm, I'm assuming they were being used for... Oh, wow. I'm assuming they were being used for, uh, like, getting quartz and stuff. They just got random... Random cobbin, cobble, cobbin, cobblestone. Wait, no, oh, that was nether brick. Somebody pillared some with some nether brick. Um, ooh, that's dangerous. Hopefully these lead somewhere. All I want really is a blaze rod to make an eye of ender. So I can make an ender chest. Now that I'm rich. <laughs> I've got diamonds and emeralds and all that stuff. This looks just like another strip mine or something. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. There's pillars with torches. Usually that signifies something. But I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> oh. Is this perhaps? Did they build that? Or is that actually fortress? I hear blazes. I hear blazes. Yes! Excellent! Okay. Ooh. Yes, come. Come. Die. Okay, we're into fire. <laughs> we did it! Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Die. All right, six already. <laughs> yeah, we got looting three, so while we're here, we might as well just kind of, whoa, where is he at? What is he, sh did he see me in a window or something? No, I don't know how he saw me. Thought they had to have line of sight, I thought, but maybe they don't. Okay. Maybe we'll see some wither skeletons. Not that we even need them anymore. I just... Oh, I need nether wart too. And the nether wart has probably all been taken from this fortress. So we either have to go to another fortress or see if somebody will trade or let us buy off of them. Hmm...
Ooh, did you see all those guys? Oh. There's a flat area up there, I wonder. Huh. Don't, 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 don't do it. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Beat them out. Get them. Get them. There you go. Get them. <laughs> Fight of the century. Oh, he got me. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he'd hit him. Yeah, give me all your magma creams. My skin is really dry. I need your lotions. Not one skeleton yet, but I'm not here to farm for the skeletons. Okay. I forgot to eat. <laughs> Gotta eat. Gotta regenerate. Alright. Die, 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 die. Yes, 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 yes. No, you're not. No, you're not. Is there a farm? Oh. A spawner, maybe. Nope. There's gotta be a spawner somewhere here, because this... These guys are going crazy. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, they're shooting each other. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Hmm. So is there not a blaze spawner in this building? Oh. Um, oh, hello. Gimme, gimme. No. Come here. Oh, two of ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Give me plenty of coal, though, aren't you? <laughs> With the looting three. Looting three coal sword. I'll have to ask if there's a blaze farm somewhere around here, but we did accomplish our mission, which was to get <laughs> one blaze rod. We've got plenty now. Aha! Coal. Coal. There's another one. Ooh. He withered me. He withered me. That's dangerous. Did he give me a skull at least? No. You jerk. Um, oh, hello. Hi. Come here. Come here. Did you? No. Well, guys, I think we accomplished our mission. We got plenty of blaze rods now. We even got some magma cream and some coal. <laughs> and bones? What else could she ask for when you go to the nether? But I think I'm gonna call it here. This was a great just walking around episode. Uh, let me know what you think of the glass and wool idea in the nether. Uh, the My nether tunnel. And... I guess... Until... Nope. Until next time, say bye.